Okay, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to continue with organic chemistry part three. In the previous video, we looked more about um, uh, alkanes as an example of hydrocarbons. But before we do that, please, uh, if it's your first time to watch my videos, subscribe, like, and share the video. Okay, so we get into details. So specifically, we are looking at the unsaturated, which is alkenes. Okay. So last time in the last video, we discussed what are saturated, what are unsaturated. Then we focused on saturated, which were alkenes. Now here, we want to focus on alkenes. Alkenes are hydrocarbons which contains a double bond, at least one double bond between carbon to carbon you know, atom. So it contains at least one double covalent bond. So they have the general molecular formula of CnH2n. The alkenes have the general molecular formula of CnH2n. Now, because of these alkenes, wanting to have the double bond between carbon to carbon we do not have an alkene with one carbon we do not have an alkene one, uh, one carbon because we need the, the double bond between carbon to carbon so we do not have an alkene with a uh, one carbon therefore alkenes start with the hydrocarbon or, or a compound with the two carbons okay so the first alkene, it has two carbons. So the general molecular formula for an alkene with two carbons is C, where there is N you put two, H2 multiplied by two, which becomes C2H4. That is the molecular formula for an alkene with a two carbon, which is called the ethene. Okay, the naming is similar to the alkenes if means two, then they will all be ending with E M E at the end. So an alkene with the SF three carbon, the C N H two N, which becomes C three H two multiplied by three, which becomes C three H six. You see, so that is an alkene with the three carbon so it's almost similar with the alkane except that here there is no plus two okay so we use this general molecular formula to find out the molecular you know formula for a certain alkane so you can continue using that so i'm going to list down the first team so i'm going to draw the structure again the name structure as well as the molecular formula so we have Name okay, so it's a name this side molecular formula. Then here structural formula. So the first alkene, as we discussed earlier on, is called the ethene, which is C two H four. We had used the molecular formula to write this. Okay. Okay. Sorry. The name is ethene. The name is ethene. Then uh, the general molecular formula is C two. H4. The structure formula, we draw the two bond, the two carbon. Now we are saying that the alkene, like ethene, they have a double bond between carbon, carbon atoms. So there should be a double bond between these two carbon. You see like that? Now, earlier on, we said that, uh, I said that in carbon has the ability to form four bonds. So in this carbon, it has already two bonds, which means the it, it is remaining with the two more to be stable. So we have hydrogen there, hydrogen there. Again, this one same applies. It, is already, it, it already has two bonds. It has remained with the two more for it to be stable. So that is the structure formula for a thin. Okay. Next we have uh, propene. 
you know, the the prefix are the same with the alkanes. The prefix are the same. You know, eth, propane, butene, you know, pentene. The the, prof, the prefix are the same. So propene. What is different is only the suffix. So propane will have. If you don't know the molecular formula, again do the same thing. You say C N S two N, where we have propene. Prop means three, so C three, then H two three, which is giving you six. So propane is equals to C three H six. Okay, so the molecular formula for propene C three H six. That's the molecular formula for propene. Then from there, the structure formula three. One, two, three. You can put the double bond either here or here where you want it to be in this case. Okay. So what you know is that it has a double bond somewhere in the chain. So we can put the double bond here. If you put the double bond here, this carbon needs two more bonds to be stable. Okay. This one also needs, okay, there is a bond there. So the carbon at the middle needs only one more bond to be stable because there's already three, one, two, three. So this other you can either be on top or down, it's okay. Now the other carbon remains with three more bonds to be stable. Okay. So that is the propene. That is propene. Okay, the last one I'm going to look at is the butene. Is butene. Butene C H four. I mean C four H. You just add two there. This becomes the H. We're just adding the two, okay, with the hydrogen. Carbon. We're just adding the one. One. I mean two, three, four. Then for hydrogen, we're just adding the two to each, okay. So the structure formula write for one, two, three, four. You can put a double bond anywhere in that chain where you feel like it should be. You can put it here, you can put it there, you can put it there, anywhere you want it to be. It will be correct, okay? So this time I won't put it on the first carbon, I'll put it on the second carbon, you see? Then we already we also have the single bonds there. The first carbon needs three more bonds to be stable. Remember, carbon needs four bonds. It forms the four bonds. So one, two, three, four. This one needs one because already it has three. One, two, three. So you need one to be stable. This one also needs one to be stable. And this one needs three more to be stable. Okay, so that is the structure formula for butene. So the rest. I'll just list them down, then you can continue writing the molecular formula and the drawing the structure formula. So we have ended on butene, we have uh, pentene, okay, so we also have pentene, we have a zine, we have a tin, we have octene, So you can write them with their molecular formula and draw their structural formula. Okay, now we look at uh, isomers of alkenes. We look at isomers of alkenes. The same definition for isomers. We said these are structure. Uh, these are organic compounds with the same molecular formula but different structure formula. So. Going to look at isomers of alkenes. So the first alkene has no isomer, the second alkene has no isomer. Isomers are starting from the third alkene. So 
where we have the third alkene is butene. Do not forget, the third alkene is butene. So we're going to look at butene first. And we want to know the isomers of butene. So first, we know that butene has four carbons. It has four carbons. Then you can put a double bond there, anywhere you think it should be. Okay, so two more bonds to be stable. This one needs one to be stable. This one needs two more. This one needs three more to be stable. Okay, so we have that. That is the butene. Now, since the molecular formula may be the same, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so C, four, H, H. This is the molecular formula for butene. Now, we may have another butene with the different structural formula. Okay, so we may have butene which looks like this. Okay, I'll draw it here. Because there are, I'll draw three of them. So the first one will be here, C, C, C. So when you're writing isomers of this, okay, sometimes it is just the matter of changing the position of the double bond. So where we may change the double bond, it can be there. Okay. So these these two have the same molecular formula but different structural formula we can also have this c c c then we have another carbon there then we have a double bond there see then the bond there this one is already four you see that one two three four this one needs two more to be stable Needs two more to be stable. Okay, so these three are isomers of butene. These are isomers of butene. Now they have the same molecular formula but different structural formula. Now, when naming these isomers, we're probably going to follow the same stages we were using under our chem. You first have to identify the longest continuous carbon chain, a chain which contains a lot of carbon. So this one is direct, the name is not changing, it is just butene like that. But for this one, okay, we start from this one, this is just butene, which can also be called the one butene. Now when it is one, usually we don't, you know, put one usually, okay, I'll just write it for the sake of understanding. So one butene, one butene, one is saying that um, the double bond is at carbon one. The double bond we have, so in this case, when counting just like we did on alkane, you have to make sure that the double bond is given the smallest number as possible. So you cannot count from this side, one, two, three, four. Four, the double bond will be found at carbon three. Okay, you get the first carbon to touch the double bond. Then if you count this side to be one, two, three, four, so the double bond will be at carbon one. So if you count from this side, it will be wrong. So you count that side to make the double bond to have the smallest number as possible. So butene, in this case, we call the one butene, which simply means the double bond is at carbon one. Okay. Now this can also be written as you write but hyphen one hyphen then in. So if you want, you can write it in this way or write this way. The one, the in is representing the double bond. <coughs> so one is representing the location of this double bond in this chain. Okay, not means four. Now even here, we identify the longest continuous chain. Of course, we only have one. So we have one, two, three. Four. Even if you count this side, one, two, three, four. The double bond is still at carbon two. Either you count from this side or from this side. So whichever way you want, choose. 
okay what is important is that the double bond is given the smallest number as possible so when you identify the longest continuous chain you identify the location of the double bond so the double bond is at carbon 2 so you get the first carbon i know the double bond is between carbon 2 and 3 but we get the smallest number between those two which is 2 in this case so the location of the double bond is 2 and this is the butene so 2 butene 2 butene 2 is saying that the double bond is at carbon 2 okay which can also be written as the but hyphen 2 e okay but 2 e what about this one identify the longest chain here because we have two chains here we have one one and two so we have two chains identify the chain which contains the longest uh, the, the, the highest number of carbon and that becomes the, the parent name so in this case we have one two three the one with the longest chain this one does two okay so because this one is the parent name of the or the mother chain this becomes the a group and if you check this one as no double bond it's from an alkane and an alkane which loses the uh, which is a group is called an alkyl if you remember from the previous video okay now what we do is we write the parent name which is the okay this is three carbon which is the propene because of the double bond isn't it that is propene now if we are done to identify the location of the bond it will be one propene one propene is the mother chain now the group is it has one carbon so instead of methane it becomes a methyl so from the previous video we did this methyl and the methyl is at carbon 2 see that eh? the methyl is at carbon 2 so to combine it is when naming you start with a group so two methyl one propene 2 methyl 1 propene which is the same as 2 methyl propene because when it is at carbon 1 we usually don't show the, the location of the double bond so the name will come to methyl 1 propene 2 methyl 1 propene which can also be called 2 methyl propene okay Two methyl propene because even if the double bond was here it was two be at carbon one even if it is here it is two at carbon one so usually when it is you know at carbon one we do not identify the location of the double bond but for the sake of understanding of what we've been doing i'm going to put it there okay so the name of this isomer is two methyl one propene okay um, Organic is not hard, it is as simple as you can see wh what's happening here. Okay, apart from butene, let us look at uh, pentene, the last example, pentene. So if you want to know how the molecular formula of pentene is, use the formula CN h2n why the zen we put five pent means five so c5 h2 times five which becomes c5 h10 okay so the molecular formula for pentene is c5 h10 we write we draw the structure formula one two three four five Double bond can be at any position. Now, in this case, since we want, we are learning about isomers. We show that one, two, three, four. You have to know how many bonds a carbon must have because it takes sometimes. You know, you have to know where it is exactly. You can write a long, you know, a long molecular formula. Each carbon must have four bonds. Okay, now from there, we draw another structure. One, two, three, four, 
be or but now in this case we're going to put the double bond there okay make sure that each carbon has four bonds this one one two three four that's why most people make a mistake while the double bond is okay so we can still change that we put it there we can also still draw another one two three four then we have a group there you see then let's say the double bond is there okay so Okay, so we want to name these isomers. I'm not saying these are the one isomer for pentene. We, are, we have a lot, a lot of isomers of pentene. Maybe we have one, two, three, four. I think there should be four or five. So let's name these. This is one pentene. The double bond is at carbon one. One pentene. Then this one. Double bond is at carbon two. Don't count from that side. Okay, let me do this. I change the location of the double bond. Okay, I put it. Uh, I put it here. So I'll change the location of the double bond. I'll put it there. Then uh, some changes must take place here. This must have four bonds. This one changes. Then we need to. We need to have uh, more extra halogens. Okay. When you're counting, you have to give the double bond the smallest number as possible. So if you count from this side, one, two, three, four, it will get carbon four. But if you count from that side, it will get carbon one. You see that then? Eh? It should be the same as that one. So because I don't want that, I'll put it here. Okay, so then this one, you have to name that. And this one, I have to get that. Okay, this one has four, this one has four. So, Count from that side, one, two, the double bond is at carbon two, one, two, three, four, five. If you count from this side, the double bond is at carbon three. So count it from that side for it to have the smallest number as possible. So that is two pentene. That is two pentene. This one, we labeled this one. The phalent name, it has four carbon, one, two, three, four. What name of an alkene with four carbons? Okay, yes, butene. Butene. And the double bond is at carbon two. One, two, or oh, one, two. The double bond is at carbon two. So that is it. Two butene. The group attached to it is a methyl. You see that there? Eh? So the name becomes in. Uh, and the methyl is also at carbon two. One, two, three, four. The methyl is at carbon two, so it comes in. 2-methyl 2 methyl 2 butene. Two so that's the name of this okay you can do more 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 of this it's quite easy now the last part we do the reactions of who? alkenes of alkenes reactions of alkenes the, the alkenes undergoes two types of reaction now this is a, the first type of reaction is called the combustion reaction combustion reaction and the second type B is a substitution reaction. Combustion reaction, as I as we as I defined it in the previous video, is the burning of fuel. Remember, all organic compounds they make what is called the fuel. They burn with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. So, 
even these uh, even these alkenes they burn with oxygen they react with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water that is in a complete combustion when in a complete they produce carbon monoxide and the water so this one is the same one as we did on uh, in the previous video we we'll focus on a substitution reaction i mean uh, not substitution reaction is addition reaction Alkin undergoes what is called the addition reaction. So addition reaction is the addition of a molecule or atom to a substance, in this case to unsaturated hydrocarbons. So we're going to start with the first part because we have different types of addition reaction. We have what is called the one halogenation. Halogenation is the addition of hydrogen to an alkene. Halogenation is the addition of hydrogen. So, talking about addition of hydrogen is called the hydrogenation or halogenation. This would be hydrogenation. Hydrogenation. Hydrogenation is the addition of hydrogen to an alkene. Now, when you add hydrogen to an alkene, what you get is an alkene. So if you say alkene plus hydrogen, alkene plus hydrogen, what you have is the alkene. Alkene plus hydrogen, what you get is an alkene. So, for example, we have C two H four plus C hydrogen. We are going to have C two H six. The structure formula to have. So this is the ethene, and this is the ethane. And the structure formula will be. C, there's a double point here, okay, then plus hydrogen, so what happens, the double point will be broken open, to break up, where these hydrogen atoms will be, will, allow the, will be allowed to attach themselves to this compound, which will have C, six carbon. So this was a thing, this is a thing, you see that there? Eh? So hydrogenation is the addition of hydrogen to an alkene or to an saturated compound. Now apart from hydrogenation, okay, the second type of additional reaction is the hydrogenation. Hydrogenation is the addition of halogen. So hydrogenation, we are talking about the addition of halogens. What are halogens? Halogens are elements found in group 7 of the periodic table. So halogenation is the addition of halogen to an alkene. So when you add a halogen or a halogen to an alkene, you form what is called the you know, haloalkane. You form what is called the haloalkane. So, haloalkane from the word the halogen. So, haloalkane. For example, if you add the alkene plus the halogen, you're going to produce the Example, we have some ethene, we have ethene, C, double point there, 
plus any halogen, for example, chlorine. We use chlorine as an example. So we're going to produce this compound. So the double bond will be broken open, which will leave you know the space to accumulate these two atoms of chlorine, which will be CC. Those two atoms of chlorine being attached there. I'm not saying they always be attached here on top, they can be at the bottom, they can also be there. Now, a compound which has been formed is called the haloalkane because it is made up of halogens and an alkane with the single bonds, as you can see from the diagram there. Now, the name of this compound is so these become the groups which have been attached to that you know molecule. They become groups. So this is an okay as a mother chain, then these uh halogen. So this which is basically chlorine, which you, the name becomes a one. If you come from this side one, two, or one, two, they will still be on the same position. So that becomes one comma two di di means two di chloro. Dichloroethane. 1,2 We did more of this in the previous examples as in the other video. So now can okay. Even if we were to use the other alkene, for example, propene. plus for example bromine it's going to produce one two three the double bond will be broken open then you will have uh, atoms of bromine attaching themselves there okay Now, when you look at that, again we have two atoms of bromine, bromine which has attached themselves to the molecule of propene. So that becomes the, the mother chain one, two. So when counting, you come from this side so that these two can have the smallest number as possible. One, two, three. So we have one comma two dibromo. Two dibromo uh, propane. Okay, so that's the thing. Now, apart from halogenation, we also have what is called the hydrohalogenation, which is the addition of the acid. Hydrohalogenation, which is called the addition of, of you know hydrogen halides. The acid made up of halogens are called the um, acid halide. So we also have hydrohalogenation. That is three hydrohalogenation. Hydrohalogenation. Addition of acid halide. So for example, now when you add When you add ethene C2H4, let me use a structure formula. Okay, so we are going to have okay, I hope it's clear. Ethene plus e hydrogen chloride when you say hydrogen halide we're talking about the acid made of hydrogen so we have H and the chlorine which we might call the acid there or hydrogen chloride it's going to produce the double bond will be broken open still 
going to form so C C there okay so we have hydrogen there we have uh, hydrogen there we have hydrogen there we have hydrogen there we have the chlorine and the hydrogen so when the double bond breaks open it will allow the atoms of hydrogen and the uh, chlorine to attach themselves uh, to this molecule now the position of this can either be there, can either be there, can, you know, I'm not saying it is always there. Of which that becomes the chloroethane. The name of this one is called the chloroethane. That is chloroethane. Okay. That is uh, what is called dehydrogenation. Now apart from that, we also have what is called dehydration, the addition of water. Hydration. So for look at the hydration. Hydration is the addition of water to an alkene to form an alcohol. Hydration is the addition of water to an alkene to form an alcohol. So hydration are talking about the addition of water. Hydration is the addition of water to an alkene to form alcohol. So we can give an example of uh, the same ethene we have been using a long while long. So if you add the ethene plus water, ethene plus water, which is H2O. So when you show the bond for H2O, it looks like this. You have two atoms of hydrogen and the oxygen there. It's going to produce, it will produce a, a double bond will be broken open. A double bond will be broken open. Then when it's broken open, one hydrogen from water molecule will attach to the other side. Then the hydroxide will attach also to the other side, which will form this compound so we have that we have the hydroxide to the other side so an alcohol it has this group as its functional group okay as a functional group then for our kings the functional group is the double bond but for alcohol the functional group is the OH. So this is an alcohol which has been formed by the hydration of who? Um, ethene. So the addition of water to an alkene brings about an alcohol. This is the laboratory preparation of an alcohol. You want to prepare an alcohol, you just get an alkene in the, in, in the lab and add in with water, then you're going to have an alcohol. So the name of an alcohol depends with the alkene which are viewed. So this is ethanol. This is ethanol. Okay. That is ethanol. Okay. Now, apart from hydration, we also have what is called the additional polymerization. Additional polymerization. Polymerization is the process of making polymers. So alkenes undergoes what is called polymerization or addition polymerization, which is the addition of polymers. So addition polymerization, that is our five, our fifth type of reaction. So addition polymerization. As I said earlier, one polymerization, additional polymerization, the process of adding polymers to form, uh, I mean, adding monomers to form polymers. Okay, so polymers they are made from additional polymerization, the addition of alkenes. So, for example, uh, when we add the alkene plus an alkene of the same type, in this case, let's use ethene, we say ethene.
plus the another eighteen. We're going to have a polymer. I've added four carbons, so maybe four carbons there. Single bonds in the carbon. Now, this is a polymer which has been formed. You don't put the halogen here, which means that you can still add more. Even here, you can still add more. You see that, right? So it continues like that. So this is the polymer. The name of the polymer depends on the monomer which you have used. So we have used more than one monomer. Therefore, more than one is called poly. Poly means more than one. So that is poly. We have added the ethene, so the monomer will be called polyethene. Okay, we'll look more about the polymers we're looking at the uh, macromolecules. Uh, okay, or the same polymerization basically. So, these are type of additional reaction which alkene undergoes. So, we have talked about the five uh, addition of halogen, addition of halogens, addition of acids, the addition of water. And now the addition of polymerization, where you add the alkene plus an alkene to produce what is called the uh, poly, uh, polymers. In that case, polyethene. You can add more, you can say, you know, propene plus propene to form polypropene. Okay, so these are the reactions which alkenes undergo. We have, we have talked about two combustion reaction and the addition reaction. Then these are types of addition reaction. Okay. Then lastly, the uses of uh, alkenes, uses of alkenes, uses of alkenes, uses of alkenes. One, alkenes are used to make uh, plastic. Alkenes are used to make uh, plastic. Plastics. Apart from that, alkenes are used to make alcohol by the hydration of alkene, as you saw in the example. So they are used to make alcohol. So production of alcohol, alkenes are used. Alkenes are also used as fuels and many other more. They are used as a reagent in the laboratory. They are reactants. Okay, so these are some of the uses of alkenes. So the next video talk on alcohol what is an alcohol and how can we make it how to do the structure formula and many more thank you for watching the video don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time especially and like share the video leave the question in the comment section i will be happy to answer your questions thank you bye bye